The Air Force veteran will be buried next week without family by her side. She died months ago, but the university where she worked is still trying to find her relatives before laying her to rest. Marianne Martinez reports from DFW National Cemetery. Margaret King will receive full military honors when she's buried here at DFW National Cemetery on Wednesday. The only people expected to be in attendance is a small group from the University of North Texas where she worked as a custodian. A lot remains unclear about Margaret King. What is known for sure, she was very well educated. She did put on her application that her hobby was her education. The 67-year-old had two associate's degrees, a bachelor's degree, and three master's degrees. UNT says she was working on a graduate degree in interdisciplinary studies at the time of her death. Back in September, King was found unresponsive in the parking lot on campus. The medical examiner says she died of natural causes. Months after her death, neither UNT or police have been able to track down any family. They do know she served three years in the Air Force in the 70s. She sacrificed for her nation, gave up her time to serve her nation, and it's a benefit she earned. At DFW National Cemetery, those who do not have families get a monthly visit from the Patriot Guard riders. Oh, they're not forgotten, no matter what. So there's always someone there for them. And it's, it's just saying thank, thank you for your service. You know, you know whatever happened in their life, uh, the country has not forgotten what they've done for us, for our freedom. Her UNT family says they decided to make her death and funeral public in hopes that her family would attend, but also that they could find her if they do learn about her death in the future. Her service will be at 1130 on Wednesday. Marianne Martinez, CBS 11 News.